So I'm going to kind of explain what our strategies have been in a digital dominated world. Um, the, the problem uh, in, the, in the print business is not necessarily anything to do with consumer adoption. Um, magazines in and of themselves are still being read by and enjoyed by people all the time. Forbes is readership uh, is at its highest level ever in its history. Um, and its circulation is at its highest level. And we make money uh, in our subscriptions and circulation. So it's not an issue of consumers. It's an issue of uh, a change in the paradigm. And um, the advertising um, business is changed forever. And there is a, um, uh, a um, movement towards advertising that is performance-based, that is trackable and measurable. And that is represented, for the most part, through the web. Um, and that is a very powerful proposition that is affecting all media whatever medium it is, TV or print. And so um, uh, I'll talk a little bit about what we're doing to kind of co-op that whole process and, and, and kind of move it back into how we can look at print differently. Um, so it, especially since this whole topic is about reinventing print. It's not about making your print products digital. Um, Forbes has had a website since 1996. The thing that we did not do is put the magazine online. There are two different mediums. They're, they're consumed in different ways. You have different expectations. The brand is the same. The content is different, but the contact, it, content comes from the same place. You have a certain expectation, and we hope to meet that expectation. Um, it's, it's also, obviously, it's 24-7, so it's more of a news environment, and it's a constant, um, um, uh, constantly developed and, and supported uh, environment for information. Um, the key is the brand is everything. Uh, are there any, <coughs> anyone from print publications represented? Any? Okay, a few of you, okay. So hopefully this is resonating with you to some degree. Um, you are not a print publication. You represent a brand that um, supports, that, it aspire, that inspires, hopefully delights in some way. Uh, your customer base. And so um, the key is kind of uh, making the most of your brand and really unleashing the power of what that relationship is with the people that come to your brand, whatever frequency that you have. So the brand is key and uh, make digital your friend. Digital is not a cannibalization of print. I don't think um, Print is going to go away in any near time future. It's still an incredibly uh, usable uh, form factor that people find very um, engaging and powerful. Um, I think it's changing and it will change, but as a result of uh, the combination of Moore's Law and Metcalfe's Law, Moore's Law is that the price performance of computing power uh, doubles every 18 months, and uh, that was so. Um, almost 20 years ago, and it probably will see no end to the future over the next decade, at the very least, and perhaps and beyond that. So, and Metcalf's law is the idea, Bob Metcalf was one of the inventors of the Ethernet, and his proposition was that um, networks, the value of a network is equal to the square of its members. So, um, it's a very powerful proposition once networks start to scale. And uh, those two developments are changing everything in the way um, we consume media and how media is uh, produced and distributed. And uh, we're, we're, we're just at the beginning of that. Um, but if we're talking about print and the print product itself, um, uh, digital <coughs> versions of print are not going to be the answer to how you make print better. The iPad is going to be a very uh, powerful tool, and um, we're going to get into that a little bit later. But I, I don't see that as being the savior for print magazines, in the sense that you port your magazine format into an iPad. How am I doing on time? Am I, am I doing okay? Sure. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, thank you. Um, and I, I think it's going to truly transform the way we consume media, but it's not going to be about magazines. 
uh, porting into a newer version of the web, and, you know, because certain journalists and publishers kind of miss the web and they think they can grab back the digitization of information by jumping on with, you know, a cool new app on, on the iPad. I don't see that happening. I think it's going to be a totally different medium and it will require a different um, language that we create for that medium. And I think that's going to be incredibly exciting, but it's not magazines on a, on a screen that you read. I, I, I see it as being totally different. But digital, your friend, in the sense that you can engage um, uh, a distribution in, in your brand in a different way that helps support your print product. Um, as a brand, you need to be platform agnostic. We've heard that uh, um, many times, but um, people will consume media where and however they want to. That is not something that you can change. Um, so, uh, to make money in this environment, you perhaps need to think differently about how your brand exists and create services that are beyond just printing your magazine and fulfilling your subscription obligations. And by services, I, 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 an example of what we're doing is we now sell research. Um, we um, have a um, custom research organization, uh, maybe similar to what people know from The Economist as the Economist Intelligence Unit. That's something that ramped up. It's, uh, it's very new. We've only done it for the uh, past 12 months. It represents uh, uh, about $2 million in revenue for us, but we can see that ramping up pretty dramatically. Um, those are the kinds of things that we are thinking about beyond uh, escaping the pages of the magazine. And then to sell stuff. You have a brand. You have this connection. You um, have the ability with... Um, your, your um, readers to sell them things that relate to what you're doing and uh, things we're thinking about is creating um, uh, financial services and guides that help people invest better that is beyond um, just the, the stories that we print in the magazine. Data is king. This is sort of something that is really been learned from the digital side of our business. And, and digital is all about data, and if you don't understand and own your data, you're lost because someone else will own and sell your data for you. Um, and in the um, print world, that data is your subscriber base, and unlock that data in unique and interesting ways to um, uh, help you sell uh, and understand your, your customers better so that you can present that information in a different way to your advertising base can activate your social networks um, in the sense that print is a, and, and media in general are tremendous drivers of the conversation. And you want to activate your journalists um, to be a part of that and to be another point of uh, syndication for your content and another way to distribute the power of your brand. And something that I'm spending a lot of time on is to reinvent accountability. So the idea that you have this incredible, trackable, measurable um, uh, point from uh, advertising in the digital world, let's reverse engineer that and put that into the print world, because the digital can help you understand what's happening in print. And I'll give you an example of what we're doing. Um, we are engaging with a company called Compete, which is a uh, Kantar uh, company. We create a panel. Uh, uh, Forbes subscribers match it up with their 2 million panel who are online and then we match uh, advertising, uh, we, we, we uh, compare behavior online to exposure to print advertising. So we can see what's happening after exposure to advertising in the print world and that has an impact on what's happening in the digital world because that's the place where you can actually measure behavior the best. And so whether people go to websites or they engage in search Rel relative to the branded terms that the advertiser is that are important to the advertiser, we can now measure that and track that and provide ROI measurement beyond just the fact that um, you know they have an 800 number or a QR code even in their ad. So um, the digital world is help. Uh, I see it as a way to help print um, be a better ally to advertisers and to be a better communications tool. It, it, it's not a one versus other. They all are uh, in a continuum of support. And again, if, if we're doing this right, 
and we get and we stay true to our brand, we can be powerful and important to both our customers and our customers' customers.